Hi. With this movie we will show you, how to build dynamic, database driven app layout, using DMX Zone Visual App Designer for Framework 7. We are going to build an app, that lists our products. When the user selects any of the products, the app will display a details page, with information about the selected product. We've created a database source, using DMX Zone Database Connector, and HTML5 Data Bindings Extensions. Our data source is called, Products. Let's add the Products list, on our Index page. Right-click the page content, and select, Add List Block. Then, right-click the list block, that we've just added, and select, Add List Elements. Select List Elements. You can see the Data Bindings options, in the Properties Inspector. Open the Type drop-down, and select, Repeat Children. Click the Dynamic Data button, and select the repeating element, of your data source. Then click the OK button. Make sure, to enter an ID for the Repeat Children region. Right-click the list elements, when you are done applying the dynamic data to it. Then add list item with link inside it. You can see, that the repeat children, repeats our list item but with static data inside. Let's assign dynamic data to it. Select the dynamic data button, for the list item title, inside the properties inspector. And select the data binding, that you want to use for the list item title. Then click the OK button. You can see, that our product names are properly displayed in the list now. Let's create the details page, where additional information about the selected product, will be displayed. Create a new page. Let's change its name to, Details. We'd like to show the product details, into a card with header. Right-click the Details page content, and add a card. Then, add a card header. Click the card. Open the Type drop-down, in the Data Bindings options, inside the Properties Inspector, and select Detail Region. Then, open the Of Region drop-down and select the products list repeat region. Enter an ID for the detail region. Then, select the card header, and click the dynamic data, for the card header title. We'd like to show the product name, inside the card header. Click OK. Now, let's add some detailed information, about the products, inside the card content. Add card content inner, and then add a paragraph inside it. Select the paragraph, that we've just added, and click the dynamic data button, for the content. We want to show the product description here, click OK. Let's switch to tablet view, for a more realistic preview. Now. Let's go back to the index page. Select the dynamic list item with link, that we've added previously. We need to link the list item with the details page. Enter, hash, followed by the page name, details. Then select the list item. Open the behaviors panel. Click the add new behavior button. and select, Control HTML5 Data Bindings, in the DMX Zone menu. Open the Action drop-down. Then click the, Select Active Record option. Select the Products List Repeat Region. And then select, Current Selection, in the Set to menu. Click the OK button, when you are done. Make sure to set this behavior on click. Let's preview the results, directly in Dreamweaver.
That's how easy it is to build an app containing database-driven lists and detailed pages. Now you can pack your app and deploy it to any platform using DMX Zone Cordova Builder.